Hello and good evening. My name is John. We're here playing Beach Bounce Remastered as part of my Steam cleaning series where I go through every game in my Steam library eventually, then arbitrarily rate and or review them at a wee bit of playtime. Now, I don't quite know what this game is about because I pick these games out at, re at random, but it's reasonable to believe that Beach Bounce Remastered is a, a game where you, you date, look at women. Let's hit play. <laughs> Starts in a hospital. That's the beach, all right. It seems odd that I find myself here, now. It doesn't take long for a nurse to guide you the right way. You never like to smell hospitals. The disinfectant is rich in the air, barely masking other scents. The room is bright and presents you with a rich view of the forest path down to the ocean. Grandma Umi. What time you got here? Keep an old lady waiting, will ya? Standing before you is a figure you can barely recognize. Grandma? Oh please, call me grandma makes it feel so old. She smiles and I can see the warmthness behind her eyes at least. Though I suppose that I am now. My body feels it. I apologize for all the secrecy, Tomo. Is that my name? I wanted to put this off. Oh, it's Tomoyo. What happened to you, Gran? What is it? Oh, save, load, autoplay. An age happened, Tomo dear. I'm not well, not well at all. She looks a little sad, though she's trying not to show it. I understand if you already got something for you back home, but I have a request. Humor me. Sure, sure. How can I help? While I'm here, could you please take care of Beach Bounce for me? What? What's Beach Bounce, Grandma Umi? What? The resort? But I've never read anything like the... Nonsense, dear. The place just practically runs itself. It just needs a warm, guiding hand every day. Every day? It's practically run... Okay. He smiles wistfully. And there isn't someone else who could do it? Is that a no, Tomo? Oh, no. I'm just wondering why me. Beach Bounce is full of bright and wonderful young ladies running it day to day and in indeed, Yuki is a sure fit. She grins warmly at me. You'll like her, but she's also not right for running the place. And humor me, dear, but I want to keep Beach Bounce in the family. I can hardly ask your father, he's always seen his mother endeavor as frivolous. Such a sham shame. I'll do it. You don't need to think twice. You have no job or home. Wow. Your father wouldn't approve. Umi smiles, her warm smile again, and pats you on the arm. I'm glad to hear it, Tomo. Oops, I missed one. Looks out the window for a moment before waving you off. Now get there. Now get. There'll be plenty to do. I need some old person rest. You're still pretty sure you're in shock with the news, but you remember her parting words as you leave the taxi. None of them must know. She's just overtired. You seal yourself and walk into the reception, into reception smiling. Please ring bell with service. There's a black haired girl at the desk. She looks like she's daydreaming. I can't believe she's just letting some schmuck take over while she's on break. Uh, hi there. Sorry, I was a little distracted. The name's Yuki. Welcome to Beach Bounce. What's up with the letter? Oh, it's nothing. Just some new orders from the boss. You know how it is. I do know how it is, actually. Hi, I'm Tomo, the schmuck. You can actually see her brain enter emergency mode. How she's going to talk... How she's going to talk her way out of this one. She sticks out her hand to shake, still in shock. Hi, Tomoyo. Welcome to Beach Bounce. I understand you're helping out for a little while. She lets her hand drop and clears her throat. Ahem. Did you come a long way then? Tell you what, Tomo. Tomoyo. I'm a little swamped for so to show. I'm a little swamped for showing you the ropes. I'll call a co-worker to give you a runaround if you want to wait around the corner. This font is not popping on here. She jerks her thumbs and lets you let the matter drop. Playing dumb and surprisingly effective move. You don't even have time to prepare yourself as you cross the corner directly into someone. Oh, I knocked someone down. Yeah. She's just looking at you like a deer. There are multiple spellings of the word deer. I believe here, D-E-A-R is wrong. A blush creeps up on her face. Oh crap, I'm sorry, are you alright? Nonsense, it's fine, it's fine. She jumps up with surprising alacrity, looking over your shoulder. Oh, Miniko. Oh, hi there. Are you Mr. Tomoyo? My name is Miniko. I'm the greeter here. She seems a lot gladder to see you than Yuki did, and offers you a big, bright smile and a handshake. You shake her hand, and she raises and drops her arm hard enough to make you stumble. That's character design. If you want to grab your bags, I'll show you where you're staying. 
Do you know how long for? I have no idea, Minako. Sorry. That's fine. You'll have to restock from town if you run out of food. You feel guilty for a moment when you ho hope it's longer than a week. You're here because Grandma Umi is sick. Oh, before you go to Charlotte, please take a look at these. This is the town. I don't know if you know this place at all. Supermarket, amusement park, golf, mini golf course. Mayor's office? I haven't been here since I was a kid. Oh, wow. Okay, well, lots have changed since then. This is the resort itself. It's pretty easy layout. I'm sure you'll like it here. Miniko. Oh, right, yes. Let's get you to your place. It's getting late, and you've probably been on the road all day. You've been on the road all day, right? I hate to make assumptions. You know what they say. Assumptions make an <laughs> ass out of... Miniko. Right, uh, this way, Tomio. I prefer Tomo. She's excitable. Wow. There's... No, these are... Theers? These are? I don't... I have to check. I don't want to pronounce that. Uh, yeah, that's not a real word. <laughs> it's a uh, wiktionary and the Urban Dictionary has it, but that's not a real word. <laughs> These are the guest chalets. And they're right by us. Man, how much does it cost here? You don't even want to know. Wait. Is that... Okay, that's... Am I asking and then know the answer? Unico leads you up a different door and opens it up. Et voila, this one's yours. Wow. Hey, not too bad, eh? It looks pretty... Why is there already a hat on the shelf? Sadly, you actually got one of the smaller ones. No, no, that's fine. This is larger than my old apartment, seriously. Unico smiles, a bubbly, cheery smile, and gives you a pat on the back. By the way, Tomo. Yeah? Go easy on Yuki, and some other girls. There's never been a guy in charge before, and you were unexpected. Oh, thanks for the advice. I mean, I'll try as long as they do. That's all I ask. All your amenities are in place. Place. Toothbrush, soaps, and such should all be there. Just give me a call if not. What's your number? He picks up her... Plucks up... She plucks up her phone, takes yours, and beams her contact across. We just use our personal mobiles. Not worth the hassle of company phones. Now get some rest. I'll come by tomorrow morning. You've got a big day ahead of you. She gives you yet another cheery, heartwarming smile and leaves in a whirlwind of activity. She nearly trips immediately on the doormat, recovering with a stumbling dance. I'm okay. And she's gone. Look around the room, it really is incredibly nice. When Umi comes back, maybe she'll let you stay. For now, sleep. It's completely daytime out. All right. Exactly the same. You're at the clock, 7 a.m. You're pretty sure last time you checked the clock, it said 4 a.m. At best, that's three hours of sleep. You grow and pull yourself up, taking stock. You have a quick shower and check the wardrobe. There's a uniform that looks your size. You tug it on and thankfully fit it, and it thankfully fits. The gentle knock at the door opens before you reach it. Did you forget to lock the door? Tomo, are you awake? Yep. Eep. It leaves a full two feet in the air in alarm before cutting clutch before clutching a breast and panting for breath. Crap, Tomo, you're gonna give a pro girl a heart attack. Uh that's uh I mean you were sneaking into my room. Gently pouts. I wanted to pull the good old wake up big brother maneuver. Ugh. That wouldn't be necessary, but thanks. Anyway, shall we get started? I feel like there needs to be a follow-up discussion about you sneaking into my... First things first, the staff room. Does everyone dodge uncomfortable situations by ignoring them here? Yuki will probably want to introduce you to some of the others who are around. I guess that's a yes. Guess what, Tomo? Let's get going? Is this a classroom? No, it must be... Must be a staff meeting room? Got him. Morning. Yuki and a number of girls you don't know are... Are sat. All right, and sat at are sat at various chairs. You made it good. He waves you towards a free chair. Right. We'll get the introductions out of the way, nice and fast. Okay, Tomio. Sure. Hi, everyone. I'm Tomio. Please call me Tomo. I'm Umi Grants. I'm Umi's grandson. I don't know if that'd be capitalized. And I'm here to, for a little help. 
Yeah, speaking of, do you know how long you'll be with us? Pray not, sorry. So, uh, just like her. Anyway, my name's Yuki. You'll usually find me in reception. I'm Umi's right-hand girl, an assistant supervisor. If anything you don't know, I'll know. The way she leaves it up as an, leaves it an unspoken challenge in the air, but I'll let it go. A pleasure to meet you, Yuki. You already know me. I'm Inuko, the greeter. When people arrive, they want a friendly face. Apparently, I'm the friendliest. I drive people around the resort and run errands for Yuki. She's certainly been friendly to me. Yuki seems uncomfortable, and one of the other girls is glaring at me. Hi, I'm Ray. I'm the swimming instructor. Just stay out of my way. She slides off the table she was perched on and leaves the room, letting the door click shut behind her. I can see why she's not the greeter. Unsurprising reaction, but slightly disappointing. Only slightly? You raise an eyebrow at Yuki, but she doesn't respond. Aiko? Oh, that's terrifically awkward. Hi, I'm Aiko. The last girl walks over and speaks up. She's incredibly cute. Nice to meet you, Aiko. What do you do? If it's anything beach related, I'm there. I also do some sports and gym from time to time. I offer my hand, she gives me a firm shake. And speaking of, I'd best head down to the beach before the early birds arrive. See you later, guys. That was pleasant. It was starting to look like only Miniko was going to be nice to you. There's another person I'd introduce, but she's only a part-timer. My half-sister, Sakura. I bet she's dancing tonight. Whatever that means, Yuki certainly looks flustered with Miko. She waves her hand abruptly. Don't you have work to get into, Miko? She looks between you and Yuki, pouting before giving up. Yeah, yeesh, Yuki. She slumps off, still pouting like a wounded animal. That girl, what has gotten into her? There's an extra chair behind the shoving desk, and I sit beside Yuki. Right, Tomio, day-to-day -day duties are pretty simple, so any of us are capable of taking care of our areas. What supervisors do, in this case you and me, is swap between doing reception work and helping others. So that, for instance, Aiko isn't busy the entire day, every day, will help with her half her duties. Or with Ray or Miko, you get the idea. Okay, sure. Where do you want me to be? Today, back here? No, I'm going to be staying behind the desk all week, so I can get paperwork done. There'll be more of it to do, but we'll worry about that for later. For now, we want you to use the different areas of the resort. All right, what's needed? She settles back in her chair, tucking a lock of hair out of the way and nibbling on a pencil. The beach needs to be kept clean, and having extra eye on lifeguarding is always good. If there's any troublemakers or disagreements, it's, it's our job to deal with it. As to the pool, halfway through the day, we check it, make sure chemical balance is okay, and that there's no overabundance of bodily fluids. Is, is that a thing that happens often? Some people think they can screw any screw anywhere when they're. Oh, that's not the fluid I was thinking of when they're on holiday. I mean, like peeing or something. Not that. She gives a, she goes bright red and clears her throat. Whenever you're hungry, you can go to the food hall. You're playing the ignore awkward game again, aren't you? It's free to eat there as long as you don't go crazy with ordering stuff. You sigh and stretch, joints popping. You're tired, but it sounds simple enough. All right, then, where do you want me to first? Aiko. Akiko? Aiko. She's a lot better at this stuff, and she can always use an extra hand. It's a pleasant walk through the resorts. For so early in the morning, you can get used to being greeted with smiles. You reach the beach and agree to with rather spectacular sight. Shouldn't you be working? Yeah. Aiko's playing volleyball with a couple of girls and it looks like you have arrived near the end. He spikes the ball and sends two ladies scattering for cover, giggling madly. You can't beat the best in this this, this early in the morning. He smiles, hands on hips before pulling her uniform over her swimming costume. You can watch that for a while, but she knows it's pretty meaty walking over. Tomo, you made it. Looks like you got your help first, huh? Except for my... That should be capitalized. That's a proper name. Except for Miko. Maniko. I think the only one who will have me. He ponders for a moment before shrugging. Maybe. They'll come around eventually. You're a new entity. If Sakura was here, she'd be fine. Yuki's sister? Half-sister. Couldn't be any more different. Sakura is... She clears her throat and shakes her head. Indescribable. I won't spoil the surprise for you. So, have you ever done anything like this before? Nope. Not have you been to the sea since I was a kid. I do like beach games, though. Her eyes twinkle at that, but she continues. Well, it's pretty simple, though. Local government technically owns the beach, but they let beach bounds have it. They just give up the whole stretch? Sure, it makes sense for them. We're good tourism, we keep it clean and safe for everyone. On a day where the weather's good, it's a pretty simple job. Keep an eye out for junk, though. You glance at a group of girls headed to the water with a couple of guys. She follows your eyes and bursts out laughing. It's a good sound. Oh, not, not that. Discarded wrappers, bottles, that kind of stuff. I don't know what she meant. 
As I said, on a good day, a simple job. It usually gives you time to play and take breaks. What do you play? She perks up again and smiles. Basketball, volleyball. I'm not on the beach. You can usually catch me at the gym playing. Oh, a choice. A choice. I'm interested in sports too. You play at the gym? I might have to join you, though. I don't really know much about it. Well, Tomo, anyone can be taught. Except for Minika. Poor thing, just far too clumsy. You've noticed that a few times already. Anyway, let's get back to work. He gives you a warm smile and points out of your playing in the water to keep an eye out for. Time passes. <laughs> we come back in the exact same pixel perfect pose. And the sun's. Am I to assume that the sun is a possessive for fully? The sun's fully? The sun. You can't. <laughs> You can't, you can't abbreviate sun is. The sun is fully up in the sky before you realize. See, th it, this one's right, I think. Oh, I can't remember anymore. It's as complicated. It's not really that been that hard. Everyone who comes by with greeting. Everyone who comes by with greeting. Everyone who comes by with greeting. Must be greetings? Plural? As in super nice and polite. Oh, I, I couldn't. A little boy offering you a bite of ice cream. A little boy's possessive offering Aiku a bite of her, boy's, her, ice cream. And it's an effort of will for you not to laugh out loud. Keep a straight face and wave the, at the kid's mother who comes over to help. Come on, she works here. I'm sure she gets to eat ice cream all the time. You're pretty sure, she buttered. I wish, as the boys led away. Well, all I did was get anything about food. What about you? When was the last time you ate? Your stomach grumbles loudly and kill laughs. It's generally pleasant sound. Yes, you told me that last time she laughed. Okay, just a little bit more and we head to the food hall. Ooh, all right. You want to watch swimmers while I hunt for rubbish? Can you hear that, Tomo? What? That's the sound of sweet satisfaction from me. You've got the right mindset for this at least. All you do is just pick up the rubbish. Still, a compliment's a compliment. Why, you can smile. At, I've been smiling, haven't I? He pauses and shakes her head. Almost a few times, maybe little ones. That was very genuine. It's been a long time since I've gotten a genuine work comp compliment. You stop for mid-question. Family stuff, long story. Far too moody for a lovely day. If you say so. Aiko gives you a thumbs up and hops into the lifeguard chair. It's a surprise when you aren't pressed on it. You don't want to give her that whole daddy never loved me, I'm a dropout story. It's not interesting or fun to remember. By the time you collected a small bag of rubbish, your stomach is growling like a wounded animal. Okay, the food hall looks surprisingly much like my cabana. Aiko's leading you off to the food hall. So what did you think? That's a bit of a broad question, Aiko, about the beach. I love it. Used to hate it, though. Used to hate the ocean. How come? You know, they drowned when I was here as a little kid. It stuck with me for years and years. Heck, I was convinced a mermaid rescued me, but I woke up on a rock covered in seaweed. You never know. There's a legend of mermaid in these parts. Ugh, there's a legend of mermaids in everywhere. That's a lot of water. I can make fun of a girl for believing in something so fantastical and magical. Are you? No, ma'am. Smell of delicious cooked food calls out to you. Your stomach cries out in need. Oh, sweet baby, yes. We walk in and Ray's visible, sat in nothing but a bikini and finishing off her sandwich. Hi, Ray. Gulp. Hi, Iko. How's the beach doing? Happiness leeches out her voice when she sees me and she glares. Offer to help. Look, I, Ray, would you like some help from me after lunch? What? You think I can't handle it? I don't need someone riding their family's coattails with me. Ray, it's not like that, I'm sure. Okay. Uh, this has been Beach Bounce Remastered. Uh, there was at least a choice, uh, but I'm not really, it's not my thing, you know, visual novels in general. Uh, this one so far in a basic harem setup, I guess. Uh, you got all the classic tropes. I'm sure it turns out that you get to date them and blah, 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 blah. Uh, but don't see much mystery or intrigue. It's just going to be that kind of story. Cheers. Cheers.